Hello everyone, Ron Johnson here from LTL Tutoring Central. And if you're looking for tips and strategies to help with your learning, you are in the right place. Many people at one time or another have wanted to improve or increase their vocabulary, either to understand more of the text that they enjoy reading or must read perhaps for school, or to use a wider uh, vocabulary in their own writing. I'm going to give you a few tips that will help you achieve these very goals in improving and increasing your vocabulary. One uh, might seem fairly obvious, read frequently. Now, instead of saying read a lot, which I could also say, I said read frequently because it's more important that you read often rather than just reading a lot. Uh, I know some readers who read a large volume of material, but that by itself is not enough. And that's why I'm going to be mentioning some other ideas here to add on to the idea of reading a lot or reading frequently. So it's important to access printed word as often as possible and vary your reading. Don't read the same types of material all the time. If you're looking to increase vocabulary, you need to read from different uh, sources, but also different uh, authors and different uh, kinds of texts. So read about philosophy, psychology, science, uh, geography, technology, etc. And then read novels and magazine articles and blogs and newspapers <clears throat> and academic papers. Any variety that you can add into your reading is going to help expand your vocabulary because different disciplines and different authors use uh, their own vocabulary. So you might, maybe you're familiar with a, a favorite author and after you've read a few of uh, their books, you'll start to recognize that they often use the same words over and over again. Maybe there was a word that you didn't know when you first read it and you maybe looked it up a couple of times, and now you see it in this particular author's writing all the time. Now you go switch to another book, maybe in the same genre, but by a different author, and they have a different set of words that they tend to use over and over. Uh, don't always skip. So uh, I mentioned looking up a word. So <laughs> yes, we can often figure out the context well enough without knowing every single word. And if there is a lot of vocabulary, that you don't understand. I wouldn't suggest looking up every word every time because that can slow you down to the point that it's no longer enjoyable or you won't get through the text in time for your uh, for your test or your essay. <laughs> so uh, if you're just reading for enjoyment, also you don't want to disrupt it to the point where you don't don't want to read anymore. But looking up words from time to time, especially words that tend to repeat because uh, you you might need to know that meaning plus remember you your goal here is to increase your vocabulary and your understanding of vocabulary so don't just skip over words you don't know create your own personal dictionary so uh similarly to looking up the word if there are certain words that you've looked up but you just you never seem to remember them you can create your own personal dictionary so you can just grab a scribbler and put a letter on uh, every several pages, leave a few blank pages so that when there are other A words or D words or H words, you can fill them in and uh, make up your own little dictionary. It doesn't even have to be perfectly in alphabetical order, but as long as you have the A's, the B's, the C's separated, then that can be very helpful because uh, these are the kinds of words that you're probably probably going to keep coming across and having a, just a smaller dictionary rather than going to the large one can be helpful. Also, writing out the word and writing out the definitions helps to sort of wire the brain, if you like. And so you tend to remember things more when you write them down. And that leads into my next point, which is put the words to work. In other words, don't simply uh, look them up in the dictionary or even using your own personal dictionary you actually want to use them in some way. Uh, use them in spoken language, use them when writing, uh, incorporate them into some of your own work because that will help you to remember them better and it will make it, 
it will help you to use them in the correct context and in, in the correct way as well. If you're sort of forced to think about how should I use this word or what is the right way to use this word, rather than just trying to memorize. And trying to memorize the dictionary is, um, for most of us anyway, a fool's game. Yeah, it's just too difficult. And the words start to not really make any sense. You can maybe memorize a certain amount if you have a really good memory, but that's not very helpful. We really need to know how to use the words, how to work with the words, what the words' connotations are. And so put the words to work for you, which leads into my next point, which I've already sort of mentioned is write. So we said read frequently. You should write frequently as well. And you can keep a journal or a diary. You can write blogs. You can, uh, obviously, if you're in a school setting, you, you may need to write for certain uh, classes. But you should write on your own as well because uh, writing for yourself, uh, writing stories, you can write fiction stories. You can even write a novel if you really want to. But, but you can consistently access the language and use some of those words that you've been uh, learning, the new words that you've been learning. It's a little easier when you're writing on your own. Sometimes they won't fit in to a particular course that you're studying. Uh, so you, you want to be careful with that. You want to make sure that you're using the words in the correct manner as well. You can also use flashcards to sort of self-test. You can put the word on one side, the definition on the other. Uh, it's a very useful and helpful way as long as you're incorporating some of the other ideas by itself. It's a little bit too much like just memorization or rote learning, which is fine to a point, but then you you want to make sure that you're actually able to use the words in real uh, scenarios where you're actually writing uh, paragraphs or sentences at least that use the words in context or speaking to other people when, when appropriate, <laughs> when it makes sense. Sometimes slipping in a uh, word uh, either doesn't make sense or sort of doesn't fit in the context of, of your friends or the social occasion. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, you don't want to come off sounding pretentious or, uh, and, and again, you, you also want people to understand what you're saying as well. So you have to use uh, words that uh, make sense to everyone. You can use word of the day. A lot of online dictionaries will send you a word of the day. And uh, that's, again, a fun way. Uh, they often give you the, not only the definition, but they tell you where the word comes from when it was first used, a little bit of uh, history, some examples. So it gives you a little bit more than just a definition, generally. And uh, that can be a fun way to increase your vocabulary as well. Once again, if you're going to incorporate it in other ways, too. Of course, you don't have to do it for everyone. If you get a word every day, you're probably not going to be able to incorporate all of those words all of the time, but pick some that you think, boy, this is a really useful word. This is a word that I could use in my daily life or uh, for my own writing, and then go on from there. Also, you can play word games. Uh, Scrabble and crossword comes to mind. There are other word games that uh, are fun to play. I don't play a lot of word games. I do some crosswords sometimes. I used to play Scrabble. Um, but there are some other word games that are that that will help you uh primarily because they will introduce new words uh beyond that i'm not sure how much they will help you to remember so that's why you need to incorporate some of the reading and varying your reading and looking looking up words your dictionary putting the words to work writing all of those ideas are still useful even if you're playing word games or getting word of the day Crosswords are good because they give you um, clues and then you have to figure out the words. Uh, but sometimes the, the clues and the words, they're not something that you're going to use um, uh, every day either. So crosswords have uh, have limits like any, other, any of the other games would probably have limits. But nevertheless, it's just another way of accessing new words and learning words. And the more different ways you can do this, the better because first of all you won't get tired of it hopefully and uh, secondly it will help you remember them because you've seen them or use them in a variety of settings and that's always very useful when trying to remember anything including vocabulary so i hope that these ideas and tips 
are helpful, and if you uh, practice them, put some of them at least into play, I think that you will, for sure, improve your vocabulary and increase the ability to use those words in a variety of settings and in your own writing. Don't be afraid to let me see some of your writing if you like. Uh, I'm always willing to look. Also, if you have a question or a comment, you can place it below if you're watching on YouTube. Otherwise, I'll put a link below to the website, and you can contact me by email from there. If you would like personalized lessons in reading, writing, basic math skills, or study skills, uh, also you can check out the website or just shoot me an email, and I offer a free information meeting, and we can put that together. It's Ron Johnson from LTL Tutoring Central. In the meantime, keep learning and keep having fun. Bye-bye for now.